My name is Professor Ilya Soman. Uh, I teach here at George Mason University School of Law. I'm the author of a chapter on the problem of political ignorance in the book, The State of the American Mind. I've also actually written an entire book on political ignorance called Democracy and Political Ignorance, Why Smaller Government is Smarter. Uh, and there's overwhelming evidence that political ignorance is a very serious problem in modern America. Uh, many voters are extremely confused about which issues public officials can affect and which they cannot. Uh, as a result, many elections tend to turn on things that the incumbents can't actually control, such as short-term economic trends, but sometimes even things like droughts, shark attacks, and even victories by local sports teams all have effects on the outcome of elections. When people hear the evidence on widespread political ignorance, many of them tend to assume that it must be because the voters are stupid or because the information simply isn't available for some reason. In reality, neither of these theories is likely to be true. Thanks to the internet and other modern technologies, information is more readily available today than at any other time in human history. And far from being stupid, uh, the data shows that IQ scores are actually rising. So the problem is not that information is unavailable or that the voters are stupid. It's rather that they're not, for the most part, using their very real intelligence to acquire and understand the information, much of which is readily available. However, the problem has gotten more severe in two important respects. Uh, first, government is larger and much more complicated uh, than it has been in the past, and that makes uh, voter ignorance more severe than it used to be before uh, because the small amount of political knowledge is now spread out over more and more issues. Secondly, it's striking that voter knowledge has not risen despite enormous increases uh, in educational attainment and also in the availability of information. And the reason for that is generally perfectly rational behavior on the part of most individual voters. So if your only reason to learn political knowledge is to be a better voter, that actually turns out not to be much of an incentive at all because the chance that your vote will make a difference in a presidential election is infinitesimally small, about one in 60 million. It's somewhat higher in other elections, but still extremely small. So while most voters probably don't know these exact numbers, they do have an intuitive understanding that spending a lot of time studying political knowledge just doesn't pay. It's it's unlikely to make any difference, so they spend their time on other activities which are more likely to make a difference or more entertaining, such as watching reality TV. Uh, there's no easy way to solve the problem of political ignorance, but the beginning of wisdom is to at least recognize that we do have a serious problem and also to recognize that it doesn't have to be this way. So the way forward, I think, is to make more of our decisions in the private sector or by voting with our feet between different jurisdictions in a uh, federal system where people also make better decisions when they decide where they want to live. We can make better decisions if we, great, if we decentralize and limit the power power of government to a greater extent than we have in recent years. That won't fully solve the problem of political ignorance, but perhaps would at least make things somewhat better uh, than the very unfortunate situation we have now.